Alright, let's go see my dickhead boss. That's the wrong way. Considering that kid's gone, I have no idea where the fuck he went. Wait, what? No, no, no. I keep thinking that's a thing, but that's just that shop. Which I should go to. Because it's been a minute. But, I've been dicking around for too long. I gotta go see this dude in that shitty park that I hate. See, one bad experience and I'm so fucked! Shit! Oh, fuck. Come on! Yeah, I'm gone! Yeah, I gotta fucking serpentine my way back to that fucking shithole park. As I was gonna say, one bad experience in that park and I'm fucking done with it forever. Like, that side mission made me really sad. Oh, come on! Ugh. Ugh. Shit. Oh, I got those. Yeah. It almost sounds like he's saying strike. Come on. Come on. I really should switch more back to Thug. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But Slugger is just so much better for, like, groups. When I do another one-on-one -on -one thing, I'm definitely going to switch to Thug. Alright, now I can go back to the park. And I'm going to see my boss. Mm. What the hell? Why would they spawn right back there? And there's another group right there! That's kind of bullshit. Where's my boss? Aw, oh, fucking Christ. Why do bikers even hate Majima to begin with? Why? What the fuck did he do? Hey! Oh! We got another! And by the way, this doesn't need saying, but that's a murder. <laughs> Almost all of, like the extra stuff that they do could like fucking kill a guy. But it's never kills them. They're just like this battered a bit. Where the where the fuck is it? Oh, he's right there. He's in that little thing. Very convenient restaurant. Hey, dickhead. I'm not your buddy, guy. All you do is dick me around. And don't take a drink with him. Fuck him. For the grass on the ground. Or you could just be a bitch, I guess. Is this gonna heal me? Or is it just cutscene food that's not gonna heal me? Probably not. So what the fuck do you want? Quote for you, I guess. Okay. Is he like buttering me up for something? I don't understand. Wasn't it just last night that he was like, hey, I'm taking your best girl to go help my other place, and also you're gonna make way more money than I said before. Fuck you. Oh, he didn't do a toast. He wanted to do the toast and he didn't do it. Good on you, Majima. Good on you. Yo, what the fuck do you want, guy? I got shit to do. I got a kid to check on. I got a fucking shop to check on. Like, I got shit. Oh, we're going back to the other type of cutscene. 
<laughs> why, just, why do they go for like the fancy cutscenes? Do they never finish the fancy cutscenes? They just go to a slightly less cutscene. Burn. To be fair, he was fucked up. You're a, you mean that shithead? Who mean that fucking solitary confinement shit? Holy shit. I still gotta ask Keith about that. What the fuck? A fucking year? Holy shit! I was expecting a month at the most! A fucking year of brutal torture. See, I, I would, and Mashima wants to get back into this life. I don't understand why. Holy crap! A fucking year of torture. And he wants to go back to these dickheads. If that were me, I would burn the whole organization to the ground. Majibu should team up with fucking Kiryu and his dad and burn all the fuckers down. But no, he just wants to go back on his hands and knees. Jesus Christ, why? Why? That's a great question. Why do you want to go back to those fucking dickheads? Unless you want to burn them from the inside out, which I can understand. Wow, you were really gonna mention his dead sworn brother? Like, fuck you. That's when you take another drink, that's right. Man, he died but was thinking Majima didn't have his back. Wait, what? He didn't die? I thought he was dead. What? Oh, we gotta do a prison break. I thought he died during that whole encounter. But he's alive and in prison? What? Why? No, you just kill me, what the fuck? Why? Okay, maybe you want to get back to like help your bro? Oh, fuck that. Prison break. Oh my god, he's doing all this humiliating shit for his bro. Also, it was less of a death mission if he came out alive. I didn't even mention how dumb it was that he was holding the gun in his mouth. Yeah, you're a dick, so that makes total sense. Fuck you. I'm not you. Then what is the point of the conversation? Am I in? So I do my prison break? 
I thought you wanted me to be a civilian. And you're talking about right in front of the chef. Yeah, what was the point of upping my ante? What the fuck changed in one night? Why would you screw me like that? You want money! This, okay, but you want the money. That's why you're making me do all this extra shit. So you rather I do the hit, but you don't want to do the hit. So I gotta do the hit, but you also want the money. What the fuck else? You want me to sell my goddamn kidney? Yeah, who is it? Who the fuck is it? Makoto Maki Makimura. Prostitution ring? Oh, fuck that. Oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna be fucking murdered. But not because I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for them. And then I get to do my prison break. That's the point, right? That's why he wants to go back, is to do his prison break. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. Jesus Christ, that sounds fucking horrible. It's just fucking sex trafficking and shit. Yeah, let's go fuck up a fucking rapist. That sounds great. Two days? But you still need me to make the money. I don't... Why kill me? I'm gonna do it regardless, but not for you. Fuck you, guy. Fuck you. Makoto Makamura is a fucking dickhead, and I'm gonna fucking murder him. Yeah, and you literally threatened to kill me. You can't go from, like, I'm literally gonna kill you if you don't do this, and also, ending murder really affects you, and it's gonna be really bad. Which, you can't go from that and then back to threatening my life. You're a wishy-washy hypocrite. And I cannot wait until me and my bro punch you in your dick. No, it's not for my personal agenda, it's to help those poor girls. I'm not using a gun. I'm not a pussy. Oh god, fucking Chris. I gotta, I gotta help all those girls and fuck up that dude. But not cause that my boss said to do it. He's a dickhead. Me and my bro are gonna fuck him up and it's gonna be great. I can't wait for that to happen. A big chance to get back into the Yakuza life. And all I gotta do is kill fucking trash. This thing I do is rush and screw it. I'll start tomorrow. Do it right tomorrow. Tonight I need to go to bed. Fuck going to bed. Oh, cool. I'm wasted. My uh, troll is vibrating a bit. <laughs> Probably because, like, oh, is that who I think it is? Is that who I think it is? Stop it, I get it, I'm wasted. Even though he drunk, like, a little bit of sake. I don't know. I don't know the tolerance for sake. I don't drink ever, so I have no concept of, like, what will fuck somebody over or not. Least of all me. Because, like I said, I don't drink. How the fuck did you see me from that piss alley? Okay, them, they make more sense. Fuck off. You know what? Fuck you. He's right there, and I want to see him. I don't like hooligans, because I think they're kids, and it scares me. I don't want to beat kids. Ooh. 
I almost forgot that combo. Okay, it's not that. Come on. Okay, I think it's square triangle. I'm gonna try and do that if I can. Let's go. No, oh, fuck. God damn. Nope, that's not it. Okay, square, square. Damn it! I still don't fucking know, and I'm gonna forget. I already have a lot of fucking money. Don't I? I do. Let's up my abilities! Oh, I can't afford it. Shit. Oh well. It's that kid. Fuck all of you, sorry. <gasps> hey, there he is. Aw, oh, Aaron Kuhn. Time to give him some medicine. Why? Ow, wow, now I'm really screwed. I forgot to read. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, hello. Did you fucking ruin your shoes already? It's my feet. They're killing me again. I think I can walk again for the rest of a while, but... Can't say I didn't warn you, right? Oh yeah, he said he was gonna, like, start running and shit. So, he did not take my warning. Indeed. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you're running errands again. Yes, I am. I have to deliver this abs absorbent. Ab absorb. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Absorbent. Absorbent sheet. That's how you say it, right? In a hurry. What am I gonna do? Not say shit right, apparently. Yagana made your injury worse, didn't you? You explained why you're late. She'll understand, won't she? But she said she has plans. If I don't get it to her in a hurry, I might miss her. I see. Um, maybe... If you have time, do you think you could deliver this absorb... Uh, da, da, absorbent... I have to sound it out like that. I can't just say it fast. No. Absorbent. Absorbent. Abs... Abs... No. Absorb... Absorbent shape! To her. What? I gotta run errands so she can wipe her face? I'm sorry. Is it too much to ask? Just do it, Majima. You weren't gonna do anything else for the rest of the night. Except for, like, pass out drunk. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay, damn me running an errands flat out nuts, but I'd like to peek at the girl who make him do all this. She must be some kind of special. She's gonna run errands into the ground at this rate. Maybe I could set her straight. Let's make the delivery. Hell yeah. Oh, alright. Fine. Hopefully she's not a fucking bitch. I'll be your delivery boy. You will? Sure. So where's your sweetheart at? Thank you so much. She's waiting on the footpath along the river. Mm. On the Sotenboro Street side. I totally got it. Got it. The river footpath on the Sotenboro Street side. You messed up so you're gonna have to walk. I will. Thank you. Here's her absorbent sheet. Hey! I said it! I think. Oh, those are the fucking wipe things that you use on your face that, like, when you get greasy. Please get it to her as soon as possible. Yeah, I'm on it. <laughs> I'm Aaron Coon's errand boy now. The cycle continues. Alright, where the fuck is it? Not to that bridge. Oh! So it's, oh, that's where I met the guy! I should, who I should also go see. Since the night's- Oh. Fuck off everything. Good thing there's another bridge. I wish I could just fuck off. I'm not too scared to face you. I just don't want to waste the energy. Also, I don't know how my health- My health is so fucking good. I could have done it, but I didn't want to. And it's, ma it's the principle that Jesus Christ that is so close to the fucking thing that matters. Also, my fucking controller is still vibrating from Majima being drunk. And I don't know how being drunk affects fights. And... I mean, I'm pretty good- Oh, fuck you! Fuck! Get the fuck down! Get the fuck down! Oh, shit. Great, I have no idea where the fuck I am. Oh, she's right there! Hell yeah! Hey, girl! Stuck up, young woman? So this is not gonna go- Great. Awesome. Where's Aaron Coon? I, no, I should give her like a, a nasally voice, like Valley Girl. Can I still do Valley Girl? Okay. Uh, give me a few seconds. Yeah, that is the same place. That's the same dog. 
Oh, God. What's that saying I always say so I can do Valley Girl? Ugh, got me with a spoon. Got it. Where's Aaron Coon? I told him I need that absorbent sheet, like, now. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, Marjorie's gonna, like, be so fucking shitty to her. I can't wait. Excuse me? And who are you? Aaron Coon hit his foot, and he can't run on it. So he begged me to get this to you. Yo, welcome. Hand over the absorbent sheet. Great. Is that right? Well, whatever works. Thanks. Wow, hate you. Hey, how about a little concern for the guy? It don't bother you at all that he's in pain? No, she's a bitch. Huh? Yo, Emmy, what's the hold up? Are you serious? She asked Aaron Coon to bring her shit for her date. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, what's the hold up? Oh, Tamakun, sorry. Aaron Coon was kind of slow today. And he knows about him. Oh my god. But this man here brought what he we needed. So we're good. <sighs> nice, man. I was getting real sweaty too. Anything for you, Tamakun. Yeah, now she's just sounding nasally. I escaped fucking, fucking nasal shit. You better whip that Aaron Coon in shape though. Gotta give him some tough love so he's never late again. Or what the fuck? What is going on? <laughs> No problem. Hey, what the shit? Thank you, Majima. Excuse me? Wasn't it you who requested that? Aaron Coon thought he was doing it for you, so he busted his ass to get it. Huh? Does it matter? What Tomokun wants, I want too. We're totally going steady now. Yeah, Aaron Coon's usually good at his job. Quick, courteous, and free. Of course, he doesn't know we're an item now. Fucking what the shit? These assholes! They don't give a rat's ass about Aaron Coon! Fuck these dudes! Doesn't the movie start soon, Tamakun? We better go. Yeah, come on, babe. Wow. Hey, before you go, I'm gonna need you two to make me a quick promise. Oh, Majma's so pissed. Look how fucking mad he is. We don't owe you shit, man. What do you want? Wow, 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 wow. Uh, you don't know who the fuck you're talking to, guy. Oh, you don't know who he's talking to. Aaron Coon has run his last errand for you. This stops now. Look at how serious he is. Majima is frightfully pissed off for Aaron Coon, and I love it. You you already got plenty out of him. Now let him go and stop toying with his feelings. Dude, why would I make a promise like that? A good Aaron boy's tough to find these days. You shouldn't talk so big, stick man. Tomokun would wipe the smirk off your face real easy. Oh, you wanna bet? Really? Cause I wipe my ass with guys like Tomokun. Hell yeah. Oh, you wanna get it on? Cool, cool. You can be my personal errand boy. Then we'll have two. <laughs> if you win, I'll run errands for you all over town. Bare ass naked with a property of Tomokun tattoo. Oh, <laughs> see, okay, I would love to see that just because that would be ridiculous, but it's not gonna happen because I'm I'm going to fucking wreck this dude. You're you're gonna regret talking shit. Now I can finally switch back to Thug. He's not menacing. He's a bitch, baby. He's not menacing in the slightest. Oh, I'm on. What the hell? I like how his girlfriend's not watching. Oh, she is. Come on. Yeah! Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. I think he got one punch on me. I think he got one single punch on me during that whole fight. Oh! I've been defeated. I suck. So... What do you say about making that promise? Or do you need more convincing? He's so fucking mad, I love it. I will, I will, I promise. Although, it, uh, um, the fucking broad didn't say anything about making a promise. She can still do it. So, you're gonna have to, like, deal with that. I won't ever make him run errands again. I'm so sorry. Wow, he ran without his girlfriend. Wait, Tomokun, what about the movie? Well, I managed to get him to stop abusing Eric Moon's generosity. But do I tell him the truth? Hi! Oh shit. 
There's Aaron Coon. Oh, hey, if it ain't Aaron Coon, you okay to be running again? <laughs> yes, a little rest was all I needed. But anyway, did you get the absorbent sheet to her? Aw, oh, dude. I got something to tell ya. Yeah, I made the drop, but... But... <gasps> I can choose? Okay, I have to tell him the truth. Like, I can't just pretend his feelings from him, because he'll just go back to her and ask her if she wants shit. And they might still fucking use him, and I might never know. But he deserves the truth, but it also really sucks. I'm gonna have to tell him the truth. I'm really sorry, buddy. I'm real sorry. Well, I hate saying this, but that woman actually has a boy. I know. What? You don't need to say anymore. I actually saw her walking around with this handsome-looking guy the other day. She looked happy. What the hell, Aaron Coon? Why? But I couldn't ask her about him. I was afraid of learning the truth. Oh. You just didn't- oh, okay. I get it now. Aaron Coon. Still, it kind of rips your heart out to know for sure. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Can I give him, like, I don't know, a free night at my place so you can talk to women? I don't know if that helps. I'm bad with emotions. Maybe this is a reality check I needed. I'm not going to run any more errands for her. Hell yeah. Good. That's for the best. Of course, who knows what'll happen when I fall for the next girl, but that's just the kind of guy I am. You gotta meet someone who's gonna, like, give you the same, like, level you're gonna give to them. Like, you need to find a chick who will run all over for shit for you. Because that's the kind of level you're putting out. Nothing wrong with being the kind of guy a girl can depend on. But it's all about respect. If you both have an equal share of it, then nothing can tear you apart. R-E-S-P-E-C-T. Hell yeah, that's the fucking mode. God, I fucking love Majima. Here's hoping the next lady you fall for treats you with the same love and care you got for her. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I can't thank you enough. You gave me medicine, these sneakers, and you did so much more. Nah, it ain't much in the grand scheme of things. It matters a lot. You got invested, Majima. You got invested. You care. No, no. That's simply not true. If I can only repay you for your kindness somehow. Don't sweat it. My needs are met. If there's anything I can do, I'll be happy to do it. For you, I'm willing to run anywhere. Aw, thanks, Aaron Coon, but I won't ask you to do that. Hey, you really got a thing for running. Yes. If there's anything I can do for you, please don't hesitate to ask. Sure, you got it. Okay, I'll be going now. Bye, Aaron Coon. Wait, what? About Aaron Coon? Aaron Coon will be waiting for you in the Sonoma Footpath. Eagerly look forward to running errands? I can actually ask him to run errands? What does that even mean? What does that even- Oh my god, he's right there! Let's go find out. Let's go find out. Oh, hello. Need me to run any errands for you? How about a little something to fill your stomach? That's all you did for me. It's my treat. Oh my god, can I get- Oh, it's like free food? I'm good. Okay, then. You don't need to feel guilty for asking me to run errands, though. I'm really happy to do it. Eric is such a good guy. I fucking love him.